In Angeline Parish, the police jury is meeting tonight with hopes of ending the recreational use of explosives that have been disturbing communities for several years. News 10's Zane Hogue spoke with the police jury president to find out why Tannerite and propane should never be combined. After several of Angela Parish residents have put the safety of their communities at risk, the police jury is looking to ban the use of an explosive combination of propane and tannerite. One makes a loud boom and one is destructive. There are people in our parish that entertain themselves with shooting tannerite that is attached to propane bottles and it causes quite a disturbance. Tannerite is an explosive powder that many use for target practice. Shooting tannerite results in a small explosion of smoke once the bullet hits the powder. Vadreen says the issues began when residents tried to take the explosions to the next level by attaching it to propane bottles. When you put a piece of tannerite attached to a propane bottle and you shoot it, we've had people's windows being rattled for six miles. We don't need that kind of disruption going on for amusement. Vadreen says the complaints about the rattling windows and concerns of the noise have come from the same parts of the parish and date back as far as 2015. Some residents living near plants and businesses mistake the explosions for real emergencies. But with the right rules in place, they may finally stop. We know where it's coming from. It's just there's nothing uh, on the books to, to prevent it. So this is so that we can uh, prevent it from, from occurring in the future. And that's uh, part of the, the hearing is to, uh, you know, to decide on what we want to uh, see as the penalty. Vadreen says anyone caught using the explosive combination will be fined if the motion is approved at tonight's police jury meeting. In Evangeline Parish, I'm Zane Hope for KLFY News 10.